everyone, welcome. I'm Kat Sullivan and today we're gonna talk about how you can use Pinterest custom audiences to get a higher return on the ads that you're running inside of Pinterest. How does that sound? Well, they don't call me the princess of Pinterest for nothing. Let's dive into the training and I'll show you exactly how to get this set up so you can start getting more profit. All right, let's dive in. Princess of Pinterest about to break down custom audiences for you guys. I'm so excited. Are you guys ex as excited as I am? Party hats, everything? No? Okay. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this training with you because I want you to understand the full power that you have when it comes to Pinterest marketing and Pinterest advertising. So Pinterest has this amazingly robust ads platform and a lot of people aren't using it just because they don't know about all these amazing capabilities it has. And so that's going to set you apart today, right now, after this training, after you hit like comment and subscribe, right? Okay. So I really wanted to equip you with all the tools you need to run ads on Pinterest but targeting the best audience, the audience that's gonna be most likely to take action. So I want you to think about this for just a second. If you're gonna send two ads and you're gonna send one to people who have no idea who you are, they don't know who you are, what you do, they've never heard of you, they've never seen you before, or you are gonna send an ad to people who did know who you are. They've been to your website, they're on your email list, they're on your Facebook groups, they look at your stuff on Pinterest. If you could send an, uh, an ad to both of those audience, which one do you think would perform the best? Which one do you think would get more clicks like sales? Probably the one where people know who you are, right? Because it's called a warm audience, right? The cold audience, they're just learning about you. So they don't actually know who you are. They probably don't trust you yet. They're probably not going to buy yet. But these people know who you are. And so if they see your stuff, they're going to be more familiar with you, which means they're more likely to engage. So I want to show you how you can leverage warm audiences and really use the power of Pinterest promoted pins to skyrocket your business. Just like we did. Check out pin funnels. If you haven't already guys, I teach you everything you need to know in that training, but let's dive into these custom audiences so that you can get started and skyrocket your business. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do when you come to your Pinterest account is make sure that you've got this little ads button up here. If you don't, it probably means you have a personal account. And if you have a personal Pinterest account, you don't have access. So you either have to have a business account or you need to convert your personal account to a business account so that you have this access. And when you hover over ads, you get this drop down of different options. You can either go in and look at your reporting. You can look at the different ads. Or the one that we're going to focus on is this one right here. Okay. We're going to look at audiences because these audiences are where the power is. So I'm going to click on audiences and then we will take a peek at what this looks like here. So if it looks a little different to you than it does to me, I just want you to know that Pinterest is always upgrading and always making changes. So the framework is still the same, even if it looks a little different to you. Now, what you can do is first you're going to see, I've already got some audiences in there, right? I've got an email list from two years ago. <laughs> I've got an engaged audience and I've got website visitors and this is a little bit old, but, um, I haven't really gone in here lately to create some new audiences. And I figured why not show you exactly how I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click create audience. And these are the four options that we're going to get. Now we can break this down even further, but I just want to give you the framework to understand how specific you can get. So there's a couple different audiences. The first is visitors. So these are going to be the people who have literally gone to your website. Now tech note, you're going to have to add a little piece of code from Pinterest to your website in order for Pinterest to do that tracking. Okay. So you can easily get that information. And if you need a developer to do it, go ahead. But in order for Pinterest to create that audience, right, there has to be a pixel tracking on your site. I've already got that set up, but that gives me the ability to create these custom audiences. So visitors who went to your site are going to be your website visitors. Those are the people that have actively been on your site and Pinterest can tell who their users are that have visited your site and they can create an audience of those people for you. You can see a list of customers that you upload. So that's going to be an email list. It can be your entire email list. It can be just a customer email list. It can be everyone on your list. That's not a customer. You really get to decide. 
Then you have an engagement audience. Now this is a powerful audience because this is the audience of people who have literally engaged with your content already on Pinterest. And they are saying that it's specifically people who've engaged with content on Pinterest that came from your domain, that came from your website. So if somebody is looking at content that came from your site, maybe you sell a product and they saw your pin in the newsfeed and they looked at it and they were interested and they saved it, but they didn't buy. Well, Pinterest says, okay, this person might want to buy your stuff and they can create an audience of people engaging with that specific content. Did your mind just explode? The fourth audience is an act alike audience. And you might have heard of lookalike audiences. That's what they call them on Facebook. Well, here on Pinterest, they call them an act-alike audience. And what an act-alike audience is, is it's people who act like a custom audience you already have. So you could essentially say, hey, Pinterest, I want you to create an audience for me of people who look like or act alike my website visitors or my favorite, which is, hey, Pinterest, I would like you to create an audience for me of people who act like my customers, right? So that way I can start targeting people who Pinterest says look like people who are most likely going to buy my stuff. <laughs> Boom. That's what I'm talking about. So let me just go ahead and walk through this really quickly. I get really excited, guys. Princess of Pinterest, hashtag it. Okay, so here's where you can go ahead and start creating your audience. So I'm going to say marketing solve web visitors. And I'm going to go ahead and name it the same thing. Visitors. Okay, and then got to keep it nice and clean. And then you see that these are some tags. And the tags are basically how you are tracking, right? So we have a Pinterest tag on our site for website visitors. We also have one on our thank you page. And the reason is because we wanted to track people who went to our website, but also went to our thank you page. Because if they got to our thank you page, they've opted in to an offer that we have. So you have different tags that you can use. So I'm gonna use a website visitors tag. And in here, I'm gonna put 365 days, okay? But now I'm gonna add in a filter. And the filters are where you can really get custom and specific here. All right, so if you wanted to create a filter, what you would do is you would say, okay, I wanna include everyone who has been to, and then you can specify what URL they've looked at. So if you have a product page, for example, you could essentially say, hey, I want to send a ad to people who have specifically visited, let me get this up real fast, my program page. I only want to advertise to people who have hit this specific page that promotes my program. Because I know if they were looking at it, they're probably a pretty warm audience. They've definitely considered, they looked at it. So I can come here and say, I only want to target people in this audience that have hit my inner circle program page. Okay, so you can do this with product pages. You can do this with program pages. You can do this with whatever specific pages that you want. You can even be specific about having it go directly to a blog post if you want. So you get to custom and choose exactly what kind of audience you want. So I could essentially say, you know what, I want it to be just inner circle people. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and say just people who've hit the inner circle page. And that equals this specific URL and create that audience. Wait one second, one second, one second. If you look underneath this video, there's a gift waiting for you. It's a coupon code so that you can go ahead and join us inside of our inner circle where you will get videos like this, but they'll be much more detailed. You'll get personalized support for your business and you will join a world class mastermind group that's gonna help you grow your business. So get that coupon code and we'll see you there. All right, so now it's gonna take some time. It takes a little bit of time, 24 hours, let's say. And then Pinterest is gonna do the work for me. They're gonna say, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and start tracking that page and see how many visitors you get, and then they're gonna go ahead and build an audience. So again, you could just do people who are visiting your website. And I highly, 
highly recommend that you do just people visiting your website. Because when you can send those people an ad, that's retargeting at the simplest form. What's happening there is you're literally saying, hey, these people were just on my site and I wanna send just them an ad. It could be an offer, it could be a blog post, it could be a product, it could be whatever kind of content you wanna promote to them. But by sending it directly to people who have just been on your website, they're warm, they're a very warm audience. So if they go to your website and then they're looking at Pinterest later and then they see your ad, well, they're gonna start drawing a connection and a familiarity and it's gonna pull them in. This converts really, really well. So when you're creating audiences, make sure that you have one that's just all of your website visitors and then you can kind of break it down and get more specific from there, okay? So then there's other audiences. So a list of customers that you upload. Now again, this can be your email list, it can be a customer list, it can be literally a list of people who uh, have not bought from you. It's really up to you. All you do is you go into your email management system, I use Active Campaign, and I go in and I click a button that says export list. And I can do that for specific lists. I can do that for my entire list. And then you can create custom audiences of people based on that. Maybe you have people opt in for a webinar and you just want to retarget them. You can do that. Let's say you have people who have bought your intro product, but they haven't bought your bigger products. Well, you can then create a custom audience of people who haven't bought the bigger product and then start selling them through retargeting ads, right? And then to do that, all I do is I'm going to choose the file. I already downloaded it this morning. Here it is. And it's gonna go ahead and upload. I'm gonna name it that it's my email list of April 2018. We've got 32,000 amazing people on that list. And I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And now again, Pinterest has to take some time to do the work. So it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna work as magic and that'll be ready for us uh, in a little bit. And then you can come here and do an engagement audience. This is one of my favorites, if you couldn't tell. So here is engaged audiences. This is really what I love to do because I find in my experience, this is something that I want to share with you, is that the engaged audiences, the people that are really interacting with my content, they're the ones that take the action. They are the warmest audience. They're liking my stuff. They're clicking. They're on my website. They're seeing my ads. And then when I send them ads again, they take the most action. So I'm going to say engaged 2018 and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here. Now, here's where it gets really good. It's already got my domain confirmed, right? I've already got my pixel tracking. I've set up the appropriate tags. I'm gonna go ahead and put 365, all right? Now, I can say if I'm doing a launch, 90 days, really, really warm it up, but you can just create an engaged audience, or again, this advanced section here is gonna allow you to add some filters. Now, check this out. You can specify exactly what they've done. So if you've ever created an engaged audience on Facebook, well, this is very similar. So you can go ahead and say, I want to create an engaged audience of people who've interacted with my stuff, who have gone to this domain. Or my favorite is action types, okay? So you click action types, you get even more options. So now you can say, okay, I want to create an audience of people who have clicked, commented, and saved my content. What? Guys, think about that. These are people who are literally engaging with your stuff. You can get so specific. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this in here and I'm going to say engaged actions. And then that's gonna create an audience of people who have literally taken action on my pins because they're gonna be the most likely to keep taking action. Now I'm gonna do that again because I just wanna show you these filters, right? When you go here, you can say, hey, did they watch a part of my video? And you can specify how much did they watch. If they watched the full thing, they love you. If they watched a little bit, you probably need to warm them up a little bit more right? You can do a pin ID so you can get specific. I want to get in front of people, anybody who has only interacted with this one pin. That's it. Is this not amazing? So good. So good. 
All right, our last audience, and that's going to be the act-alike audience. Now, the reason I like act-alike audiences is because what's going to happen is we're going to say, hey, Pinterest, based on the behaviors and the custom audiences that I've already given you, so I've already told you who's visited my website, I've already told you who's on my email list, you know who's engaging with my stuff. Well, now what I'd like you to do on my behalf is create an audience of people that look like and act like those people. So I wanna create an audience of people that look like, I say LA because it's look alike, and then look like engaged action takers. So now Pinterest is gonna say, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and take your original um, audience that you created, which we just created, remember, uh, engage 2018 actions. And they're gonna create an audience that looks like people who were already clicking on my stuff. All right, and then I'm gonna just come down here and click create. But what you could do is you could say, all right, I want you to create an audience of people, I gave you my customer list, now create an audience for me of people that look like my customers. Because Pinterest knows what their behaviors are, what they click on, what they're most likely going to do. So you can really get specific here and start creating custom audiences that are far and away going to outdo any cold targeting you will ever create, okay? So now, I want you to go create some custom audiences in your Pinterest ads account. I want you to create a website visitors audience so that you can retarget people who've recently been on your site. That's a warm audience that's gonna convert really well for you. Then I want you to go ahead and create a customer list audience. Now this can be a list of customers or it can be people on your email list. Either way, those are people that are really familiar with you and that is gonna be really beneficial when you're running ads. And then I want you to create an engaged audience or multiple engaged audiences. So you can create audiences based on what they're doing, how they're taking action, if they're watching your videos, if they're saving your pins, create that engaged audience so that Pinterest knows who's most likely going to take action on your content. And then what I want you to do is create act-alike audiences for all of those. Create an act-alike audience of your website visitors. So you wanna get in front of people who look like your existing website visitors. Take it a step further and target people who visited a specific product page or a specific program page, like I showed you. And that way you can create an act-alike audience of people who look like people who would be interested in your programs or your products. And then you wanna create act-alike audiences for those lists people that look like your customers or people that look like people on your email list. And then people that look like people who will engage with your content. Pinterest knows what's gonna perform. So let them work their magic. You give them the base content that they need. And then when you're running your ads, you know, hey, I'm gonna do some retargeting, get in front of the people that already know me. And then I'm gonna create some new ads, some new content to get in front of people who don't know us yet. And then those people who don't know you yet are gonna become your warm audience. And then you can keep doing this, keep doing it. All right, so that's how you guys are gonna get started. I hope you found that helpful. If you do have questions, leave them in the comment section for me so that I can come back and help you set this up in your business. All right, guys, that was it. Was that not amazing? Okay, so you have exactly what you need right now to get started. But before you go, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to bring you the best training for your business. We'll see you next time. Bye.